Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's the daughter of music royalty, mm. Shaka Khan, to be exact. But with the sound and style all of her own and with her musical pedigree as fuel, she's become a beacon for creative expression and musical mastery. Please welcome my sister in song, Indira Khan. All right now. Goodness. Yeah, oh, yes. I like here it. we are. Yes, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank to you the for circle. having me. Yes. Thank you for coming. Well, you know, we're nosy and we're in people's business. Okay. Huh? So, uh, we heard that you're a grandma. I yeah. am. Oh, yes. I'm a grandma. Yeah. Tell us about this journey for you. Like, what did you experience? Anything that you didn't know that you were going to as a um, grandma? -y? It's it's all new and it's all really exciting. Um, I never thought I would love somebody else's child hmm. the way that I love this baby. So Aww. that has been just like, oh, okay, I, I have the capacity. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. My mother is always saying, it's nothing like, like a, a grandbaby. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nothing like the grandbaby. So I'm like, but what about me? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we both have parents who are um, huge in R&B and soul. Right. And we were even going to do Daughters of Soul tour we were. with Layla Hathaway and, uh, you know, we were going to turn up. That part. <laughs> um, it can sometimes be a gift and a curse, yeah, though. Absolutely. So, in your opinion, growing up in a household with a legend, icon, what are what is probably the biggest thing that you've learned? What has she taught you? Um, what has she taught me? <laughs> I mean, well, the, the most profound thing that she the taught, most taught you. Profound thing, thing, yeah. But what's the most profound? The thing most she's profound taught? and the thing that sticks out in my yes. head the most um, is one time I used to have horrible stage fright. Mm -hmm. And so I would throw up and I would go through all these wow. changes before shows. And so one day she just grabbed me out the bathroom, looked me dead in my face and was like, Malini, that's what my mom calls me, mm -hmm. Malini. Um, Malini, it's just singing. And I just, it just, boop, in my head. I was like, you know what? Wow. She's right. <laughs> it's just singing. It's just singing. It's just singing. It's true. You're not going to kill yourself, are you? <laughs> this is true, too. You know? And so from then on, that was the that was like the starting point for you to always stay calm every time you went on stage. Um, yeah, it was a, a way for me to take a step back, look at the situation, and then be able to say, you know what, I can take this energy and I can use it in a positive way, or I can let it kill me and mm -hmm. be sitting up here, you know, head in a toilet. Exactly. Five minutes before mm -hmm. I go. <laughs> Well, you were an integral part of uh, Pretty in Pink, Mo the Motown group, and uh, when you were a teen. Mm -hmm. So, um, what was the one thing you took away from being in a group uh, that that helped you foster your solo career? Um, I learned a lot. Um, what I took away was that so much easier to be in a group. Isn't it though? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find five more chicks. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was one of the things. And then um, it just really taught me about being a professional. That mm -hmm. whole, you know, even though I was a kid, you know, it just taught me how important it is to be professional, how important it is to um, represent yourself correctly so that, you know, people aren't saying the worst things about you. Do you understand? Do you feel like it has um, helped you in, with your songwriting? Because you write songs. Yeah. I mean, that you are a songwriter. So do you think that being in a group has kind of helped you facilitate um, your songwriting ability or being solo has helped, has helped you more? Um, I liked the group situation. I mean, there are times that I liked it, and I was like, this is cool, everybody's mm -hmm. input, and then there are times that I was like, that's whack. I yeah, no. I just okay. Just... <laughs> Let me just go you know, by myself. It, yeah. <laughs> you know? And speaking about yourself, see, I, I have to get by myself when I think of the R&B singers that are coming out today. Okay. What are your thoughts? Now, I like a lot of the music and a lot of the singers. I love her. I oh, love her. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. She's Forget my favorite. Hands Forget down. about it. Um, and, and in my opinion, the only one that I like. Um, JoJo's made a resurface, a resurgence, which I love JoJo. I've always She's loved tight. JoJo. She's tight. But what do you think about the, the R&B singers nowadays? Do you think that they're singing like they used to? Or do you think it's more just about gimmicks and selling records? and Well, not even records no more, but streaming. 
Um, I mean, I, I definitely understand what you're saying mm -hmm. when you say, you know, it's become very gimmick gimmicky and it's, you know, the people are singing through computers mm -hmm. and you don't even know what people sound <laughs> like really, you know, so, I mean, I get that. Um, but I think, you know, it, the beautiful thing about this business mm -hmm. is that there are people that have integrity yes. and that are singing like her, mm -hmm. you know, so... I mean, there are times when I, I won't even front. You know, I listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a mood where I'm like, all right. And then, you know, there are times where I want to hear real music. Yeah. And, you know, even though, you know, I can go back to the Stevie Wonder, there's still mm -hmm. people that are, you know, relevant and mm -hmm. today that I can still turn up, you know, mm -hmm. and appreciate. Well, we've got more with Indira Khan when we return, so stay with us. are back with the beautiful and ever so talented Indira Khan. Indira Khan, and don't mind us, we're just jamming to her song, Someone. Hello there. Mm. Yes! Uh, <laughs> yes! Thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm not sure, little birdie just told me uh -oh, that you have some new music coming out on the top of the year. Absolutely, yes, uh, I do, yes, yes. So yes. tell us about the vibe of it. Well, the vibe is it's a little bit of, of something, excuse me, for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's something, you know, I got a little bit of trap on there. Oh, all right, I like trap. I'm trapping people. <laughs> and I got, um, I have, you know, stuff for the grown and sexy. So mm -hmm. yes, I, yes. I feel like I've covered every bass and every gamut. And it's something that I would listen to, and I'm a really hard critic when it comes to like buying music mm -hmm. and investing in artists and stuff so I'm proud of it and, yeah, I, and I hope everybody it. else will be too. Well we're I'm excited sure. for new music and new R&B. I know I am all the time. Okay. <laughs> um, but you're covering all the bases. You sing, Trying to, yes. You write and you act. Yes. Um, and we saw you in TV One's original movie The Mickey Howard Story yes, right? in 2017. You played your mom. Which is super fun. It's super fun. But um, <laughs> will you, are you thinking of just really getting into this, into acting as well, and will we see you on screen again? Um, I pray. Uh, I definitely, <laughs> it's one of my passions. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that I also studied and trained for. Yeah. So, yeah, I pray that, you know, somebody, one of these auditions, yes, they'll call girl. me back. <laughs> yes, girl. I know that's right. Well, we yeah. are so, so, so honored and happy to have you. Um, we love your, your lineage. We love you. Yes. We love your mama. <laughs> and you. we love your new music. Thank yes. you. We was just Very turning cute. up in jazz. Yes. Thank you. Um, and thank you so much for joining us. To keep up with Indira's tour dates and music, be sure to follow her on Instagram at con underscore Indira. And if you're in the ATL area, she's performing in two shows on Sunday at the Velvet Notes. Yes. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yay! New music's in the air! Yes, I love it! <laughs>